today, April 29, Thursday, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And we ask the Lord to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church. Grant, through her intercession, that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought, a, brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus 
John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I I will sing sing the goodness goodness of of the Lord. Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever in heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will will sing sing the goodness goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will will sing sing the goodness goodness of of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever Forever I will will sing sing the goodness goodness of of the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had washed his disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am now speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen. Amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Don Talafus, a Benedictine monk, reflecting on the first reading, he writes up. If we could only catch more of the excitement of the disciples of the risen Christ, they felt compelled to tell the whole world that God raised Jesus from the dead and made him everyone's savior. The driving force behind all the missionary work 
about which we, uh, we hear in the Acts of the Apostles is the resurrection of Jesus. At times, uh, he writes, it seems like our world <clears throat> is one of despair over the emptiness of life. And I think this is something that we experience all through this crisis. With the help of, he writes, uh, with the help of technology and the huge industry concerned with our entertainment, we modern people are able to avoid the despair by filling life and time with enough artificial excitement and noise. Today's gospel gives us the chance to give a different meaning to our lives, not by artificial excitement, but by serving others. Because Jesus knows his time on earth is limited, his example of washing his disciples' feet offers us a lesson for us as disciples about how we are to continue his ministry. Yes, washing each other's feet in a, obviously not a literal way, but always helping others with love, humility, and a spirit of inclusion. Our challenge <clears throat> is to serve, <clears throat> pardon me, is to serve everyone we encounter who needs care, including people we don't know well or who make, may make us feel uncomfortable. Jesus' message to his disciples and to us is clear. We must model him and ensure no one is excluded from our service and our love. And now we lift up to the Lord our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> that all Christians may honor their Jewish heritage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That Jews and Christians may together strive for the justice of the God of Israel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may bless with peace and justice the nations and peoples of the Holy Land, we pray to the Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of faith may together care for the sick and seek their healing, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the recently, that all who are sick and the recently deceased, especially Jose Francisco Yanez and Mario Cesario may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. God, our Father, please hear us and grant these our petitions we present to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice uh, in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks uh, to, to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, uh, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints uh, who consecrated themselves to Christ uh, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world that you come. And so, with all the angels and saints, uh, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples as saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks uh, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, uh, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world uh, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, <clears throat> that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, <coughs> and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us share the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If we walk in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia.
and that of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration is ended. I wish all of you a good day. Let us all go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.